Sai wakes up one day and discovers that the world is now filled with INFJs by stumbling upon the front page of the newspaper. Breaking news, a new century of empathy. Entire population, now INFJs. He goes to turn on the TV to find out more, but the power is out and his phone won't turn on. He looks up at the ceiling and wonders, what in the world is going on? To find out what happens in the world run by INFJs, keep watching. When rare becomes ordinary. To understand what an INFJ world would look like, we first have to visit Sai's favorite class, psychology. Sai's teacher, Mrs. Lapper, helps explain where the INFJ personality was born. She explains that in World War II, Isabel Myers and her mom, Catherine Briggs, began researching and developing a personality test based on the work of Swiss psychiatrist, Carl Jung. Over the next two decades, their instrument was developed and the Myers-Briggs type indicator, MBTI, was created which includes 16 different personality types, with the INFJ personality being the rarest of them all. Sai looks down at his textbook and it reads, INFJ, the advocate, the principled, the people dedicated to making the world a better place. The earth. With the entire population now INFJs, there are no cars on the road, as INFJs aren't suited to a career in engineering. Instead, there's a community of people using the roads as one big sidewalk. The earth is starting to heal and more sustainable practices are being implemented. The economy is focused on locally and ethically made products. Community gardens with organic produce are found in every neighborhood. Packaging now produces less waste and the oceans are receiving less plastic. The air is cleaner and the oceans and sea life are starting to replenish. Storms still come to visit, but the population stays calm and kind in moments of intense weather, offering emotional assistance, but it struggles to offer practical solutions and build emergency shelters for its people. Families have been separated with the retirement of airplanes, boats, and trains. No time for fun. The recess bell rings and Sai makes his way to the corner convenience store. He had forgotten a snack and they always carry his favorite treats. But as soon as Sai opens the door, he quickly notices the shelves are empty and in their place are chairs facing towards one another in pairs. Sai takes a step back and reads the store sign, a safe place for conversation. On the magazine rack, a title reads, is world peace now possible? Conflict in the era of the INFJ. In a world run by INFJs, opportunities for meaningful discussions have taken precedence over the need for things like convenience stores or treats wrapped in plastic. Critical care. As Sai makes his way back to school, he runs into a group of protesters protesting for better medical intervention. In the new era of an INFJ population, chronic and long-term illnesses are improving, but emergency medicine has almost become obsolete and people are dying unnecessarily. INFJs struggle with making quick decisions in high intensity environments, which has meant that emergency medicine has almost become extinct. Let there be light. As Sai's school day ends and he makes his way back home, the sun sets over the town. Candlelight shimmers in the windows of the homes and businesses along the street. With no electricians anymore, society now runs on candlelight and the warmth of fires. Smoke fills the air and the world starts to turn gray. The illusion. Sai opens his front door and reaches for his phone, forgetting it no longer exists. Advancements in technology have stopped and Sai misses communicating with his friends around the world. He makes his way to the kitchen and sits down to eat under candlelight with his grandmother. She asks how she can support him and how his day was. They have a deep conversation on the meaning of life and their existence on earth. Her sensitivity for him and his day means a lot, but he can't help but feel that the dinner conversation is starting to become all too familiar. As he slips into bed, he looks over at the quote hanging over his bedroom desk and it reads, in diversity, there is beauty and there is strength. Maya Angelou. He falls asleep knowing tomorrow will be a better day because today was just a dream. What do you think the world would be like if everyone was an INFJ? Let us know below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again real soon. And remember, you matter.